I am at my mom's garden. I haven't been here for a few days and oh my word, how stuff has grown. I'm going to give you guys, oh my word, stuff's grown like doubled in size. It's crazy what happens when you're, when you leave the garden just for a few days. Oh, I really need to blend in my blush better. Anyways, let's show you. All right, here are some pickling cucumbers. This is looking so much better. I need to, however, trellis those. This is another, ow, oh my gosh, I just stabbed my foot. This is another one that I need. I'm gonna come back through here after I film and trellis all these guys. But this is a tromboncino that's just taken over. It's gonna take over this bed. And this one is the um, cantaloupe. This one is, oh, it's, it's, that one's just trying to, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna have to go back through here. But this has so much fruit on it. So yeah, this is the cantaloupe. Um, I replanted the other day stuff in here, melons. So there's one. There's a tiny little guy, and there's a tiny little guy. I don't even remember what I planted. Here are the onions and garlic. Some of them were actually ready. They were laying down, and so I actually pulled these, come on focus, I actually pulled these two garlics. Um, they're looking way better than they did last year. Last year I waited too long and they separated. So these are looking good. Um, this onion is laying down. It's a tiny one. That's probably the tiniest one of all of them. But there's some really good size ones. Some really good size ones. I mean, like, look at that guy. He's huge. I'm just so impressed with myself. <laughs> Even though it literally has nothing to do with me. But that one I'll pull. That one's laying down. I think that's how you do it. I need to look up more, but I'm pretty sure it's when they lay down is when you pull them. But there are, there are just some massive ones. I'm, I'm hoping I might just harvest the garlic pretty soon because I think things are eating it, like I've said last time. So we will see. But here is the Cinderella pumpkin. I need to put up. Here's the cucamelons. I don't see any any fruit on it, but it's at least growing. It's looking good. Um, I'm just gonna, oh my gosh. Literally, I was about to pull it. This is the only snap pea that I got this year. That's it. None of the other ones took. It's pretty much too late, but I to really get any fruit from it much. But I think because it's so shaded, it was able to grow a little bit. Here's the potato bed. Um, it's just it's starting to get take over, taken over by these weeds. I mean, I have tried really hard to get them out, but it's I think I've given up on it. I need to harvest a bunch of these raspberries. They're so but there's tons on this. I need to pick them today before they go bad. Sadly, I think some of these ones up top did dry out. I hate when that happens. I 100% could have picked all of those on top. Oh, I hate that. I actually had the kids here the other day and I was like, hey, wait guys, we can't eat them all because I wanted to pick a bunch and then use them. <laughs> I should just let them eat them all. Oh well. All right, here. Okay, look, these things keep getting eaten, but they're at least big enough to where I think they have a fighting chance. These are the red yard long noodle beans. And there's a big one right there. So that is good. That makes me happy. Because I really want them to trellis beautifully. Oh my gosh, it is. It's trying to get in the bush. 
Look, that's gonna be able to trellis up. Now this one really took off. Look, it's already, but like, what is eating that? I need to move this raspberry one, but this is it. Yeah, that one's really starting to take off. That makes me happy. I need to put this all in there and let it trellis up. So that will be, the beans will be on this trellis, which you've pretty much seen everybody do. Okay, now last week, I don't even remember what I planted. Apparently everything took off though. I planted a few of these squashes to trellis up this as well because I wasn't sure the noodle beans were gonna do well. <gasps> it's gonna just be a surprise. So this is this bed's getting a little full though. That's those are all peppers I'll show you in a sec. Okay, here are the ground cherries. I've never actually tasted these before, so I am very excited to get some. Look at all the blueberries. Oh my goodness. So many. Tons more on another bush. Yep, I gotta come out and harvest all these. I'll just eat blueberries all day. Here is the tomatillo bush. <laughs> There's four in here. For some reason, I'm really good at growing these tomatoes. I'm having a very hard time with, but I'm excited about this. I want to get a really big harvest of these because I love green salsa. It's my favorite. Look at this banana pepper. It's doing so good. All of these ones are shishitos. Those two I had just extra. But they're they're starting to do really well. And they have so many blossoms. So many little peppers on here. There, there's more. Here's the thing. I'm actually, we're gonna be going out of town quite a bit over this next month. And I don't wanna leave. I'm gonna have so much harvest. I'm gonna have someone come and harvest stuff for us. Like, I'm gonna miss out on so much in the garden. I'm sad. There are some more things that I planted. Some squashes. I think those are butternut. And then here are some other, there's another one I did last week too. Okay, this one I just trellised up, but this one is in fact butternut squash. So I just had to tie that up. And oh, this might be coming back. I was so sad about this one because I accidentally weeded it and it was so healthy. It looks like it might be coming back. So we'll see. Here's some okra. Little plant, but it's, it's growing. Here's another one. And then here is the other one. Growing. This is a bed I am so impressed with. All of these peppers are looking incredible. This one is hilarious and tiny. They're all looking so great. They're getting so big. Some are even right here. I literally put them in every position and little place that you possibly could. There's one. There's some. Here's some more banana peppers. I'm gonna show a before right now, but that's what it looks like now. They look pretty good for just being planted. Okay, here are the tomatoes. So far I actually see some fruit right there, but I am having a problem. Here's my problem. I am having a lot of blooms set and then they die and no fruits happening. I don't know what the problem is. It's getting very frustrating. I do see more fruit on these than I do at my house, but I am I don't know what's going on and I'm trying to figure it out. I still need to prune and tie up some of these because I haven't been here for a few days, but I'm gonna show you what we got so far. 
right, we have some fruit on this one. This is a giant crimson. Like you can kind of see, so this one is setting fruit, except not on this one. Here is some Jet Setter. Again, it has one blossom that just didn't take. The thing is, that's not like super abnormal, but I'm getting full entire blossoms that they just are all dying off. I'm gonna try and find one for you. So like this, zero fruit on this whole entire one. Like, I'm, pro I'm just gonna cut that off. But I'm honestly so much more happy with the tomatoes we're getting here than at my house. Like, I'm actually seeing a lot more fruit. Like, here's, these are looking good. Okay, so here's the thing, is we did have to plant all of our tomatoes later this year than normal because of the weather and the freak snowstorms. So we are getting later set fruit than normal for us. But I'm just concerned because we're there's so many blossoms and there's so little fruit happening. And then the blossoms are dying off, which we haven't had extremely hot weather yet. So it's all very confusing. And if any of you guys have any ideas, please let me know. Because um, for how many tomato plants I planted, I should be having so many more tomatoes. There's actually a, a family member in that already has 200 tomatoes on her plants in this area so I'm I'm just so con I'm so concerned that I'm not gonna get the harvest that I really really wanted I mean I can't even tell you how many potato potato tomato plants I have planted I mean you guys have seen I've done so many so I'm really hoping I get enough to like make some sauce and not just have stuff fresh here is the strawberry bed that is being overtaken by crabgrass and devil's weed. I've got to really go to town on this one today and thin it out so it can have, like, it doesn't get choked out by all these weeds. And this, I need to deadhead. Do you see that? That's hilarious. It's, that's gonna take me an hour. Now, let the work begin. I didn't get everything. I ended up just having grabbing handfuls and chopping it off. Okay, I'm done for today. Still got some more stuff to do, but it's all the time I could have. Um, I it was time to harvest some of the onions and some of the garlic, so I pulled them honestly because there is a gopher eating a lot of it. Like I pulled one up, it was rotten down. I mean, it was cut off and then down underneath was just a hole, like a giant tunnel. I didn't really want to put my hand down there and to discover what was in there, but I'm going to have to put some traps and catch them. So I may harvest the garlic and the onions this week so that I don't lose the whole entire harvest. I hope you enjoyed today's little garden tour and watching me harvest. These are literally my favorite things to harvest are, well, okay, potatoes is my favorite, then garlic and onions. They're just so much fun because it's like a little surprise. You have no idea what's going to be underneath. God bless. Have a great day. Happy gardening. the rest.